Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to use the proxy manager module on Socinator. After opening the Socinator app, you will be on the accounts manager module. Let's switch to the proxy manager module by clicking over here. Next, let's click add proxy and type the proxy details. So for proxy group, you can use a random group name, let's say a group for example. You can also choose a random proxy name. Let's use the default one over here. For proxy address, type the proxy IP address. Let's say this is the proxy IP address. Then type the proxy port. Then let's say the proxy username is username and the proxy password. Click the I button to reveal the password. And when you're done, click the save button. And the proxy was successfully added. So you can see the proxy name, proxy IP port, username, password, social profiles, status is not checked, response time, failures, and for actions, you have update proxy, delete proxy, and verify proxy. Then for group name is group because we specified a random group name, group. If we click hide assigned social profiles over here, the social profiles tab will be hidden. So if we uncheck it, then it's back. Next, we can also hide username and password. So the username and password tabs were hidden. Let's uncheck and they're back. Show by group. So this will show the proxies according to the group names. Next, we can also filter by group. So if you select a group here, let's say group, then click add. Then specify the number of accounts you want to add per proxy. You can also click under social profiles. So let's double click one. So if you click the arrow down button over here, it will show the social network currently assigned to the proxy. So there's only one for now. We can assign multiple accounts to a single proxy. If we click the add drop down button over here, we can select from the following social profiles. So we can add one, two, or all of them. So now we currently have four accounts assigned to the same proxy. If you want to remove an account, simply click the remove button over here, and we're down to three. Let's remove two more so that we'll have one account only. And let's uncheck. We can also show only proxies with error. So it did not show any proxy because there are no errors. Finally, we can also show only unassigned proxies. It didn't show anything because they are assigned already. For filter, type any text over here if you want to filter the proxies. Then this is the website URL to use when verifying the proxies. So the default is google.com. Then check this box to assign random proxy to unassigned accounts. The trash bin button over here will delete proxies. If we click it, it will alert us to select at least one proxy. So it will only delete the selected ones. So let's skip that for now and go back to it later. You may also click this button to export selected proxies. So let's select the proxy we added. Click export selected. Select where you want to export. Let's say the desktop, then click select folder. And the proxy was successfully exported. Next is we can verify the selected proxy. So the status is working and the response time is 792 milliseconds. As stated earlier, we can update the proxy over here by clicking this button. The proxy was successfully updated. We can also delete the proxy if we want, as well as verify. So let's try deleting the proxy. It will warn us that it will remove the proxy from all accounts associated with it. So if you're sure, click yes, and it was successfully deleted. So let's check by clicking accounts manager. As you can see, the status of the first account, which was assigned to the proxy we just deleted, is trying to log in. Let's go back to the proxy manager tab. Now let me show you another option in adding proxies. This time, 
we can add several proxies at the same time by simply clicking the import proxies button over here. But before clicking, if you hover on the button, you can see the format. There are three different types of format. Depending on your preferences, let's select the first type, for example. So this is the format. First, a random group name where you want to group the proxies together. Let's say the group name is group, then colon, then the proxy name. Let's say the proxy name is proxy, colon, the proxy IP address, colon, the proxy port, colon, the proxy username, colon, and the proxy password. We have two proxies here, so one proxy per line. So let's save it, click File, click Save. Let's call it proxy.txt, click Save. We can then click the Import Proxies button. Select the right file, proxy.txt, click Open, and it successfully imported two proxies at the same time. Both of them are selected because this box is checked. If we uncheck it, then both were also deselected. Let's try using the Delete Selected Only button. Let's select the first one, for example. Click Selected Only. It will warn us if we're sure. Click Yes. And only one proxy was successfully deleted. The second one is still there. You can also export proxies without selecting them by clicking the Export Proxies button over here. Select where you want to export a proxy. Let's say Desktop again. Click Select Folder. And the proxy was successfully exported. And that's all you need to know for Socinator's Proxy Manager module. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.